Highlands police want to know if the murder of a mother of three in Central City is somehow connected to other recent shootings in that same area. Fresh flowers marked the spot where Sabrina Watson was gunned down yesterday near the corner of Josephine and Willow. Watson was the sixth person to be killed in recent shootings around that neighborhood. NOPD Chief Michael Harrison says six district officers, the department's homicide division and the multi-agency gang unit are all investigating what he now says is an uptick in violence in the Central City Corridor. Tomorrow night, I'm going to walk with the commander and my officers. We're going to try to talk to as many citizens in that neighborhood as we possibly can uh, to tell them, number one, we stand with them, we support them, but we need them in partnership with us to help solve this problem and fight this crime problem. Living in New Orleans is a magical experience with unique and vibrant places to go and different things to do every day. Centrally located in New Orleans historic Garden District with fast and easy access to I-10, the Josephine neighborhood is one of the historic neighborhoods of New Orleans. Named after Josephine LaRay, Josephine is within walking distance to the St. Charles Streetcar Line, a sub-district of Central City, the Garden District boundaries as defined by the New Orleans City Planning Commission or St. Charles Avenue to the north, First Street to the east, Magazine Street to the south, and Taladonna Street to the west. Born in the early 70s, Sabrina Watson is the daughter of Miss Doris May Watson, former Big Queen of the Wild Chapatulas Indian Tribe in the late 80s. Miss Doris was also known as Third Ward Doris and Jump Judy. If you know, you know me. She rests in peace. Sabrina, who was a loving mother of three, is also the sister of Johnny Josephine Johnny, Lonnie Watson, a.k.a. Hurt, Ronald Watson, Walter White, Conchetta, and Desiree. Described as kind-hearted and good-natured by everyone around her, Sabrina, a.k.a. Ice, was also known for selling snacks and drinks out of her car to the Central City kids in the Josephine neighborhood. Sabrina was also respected in the street as a go-getter that didn't have her hand out for anything. She was getting it how she lived on her own. It wasn't known by many that Sabrina was a close acquaintance of Christopher Dorsey, a.k.a. BG. Doogie would announce the relationship to the world on his remake of Offset's Say My Grace. Couldn't believe what happened to Sabrina. That was my nigga, my home, and my people. That was my lover, my dog, my equal. Always came through for me if nigga need her. Ain't never needed no nigga to feed her. She a post up on the set with that diesel. And a Gucci purse kept a lajita. One more time, man, I wish I could see her. In an unfortunate turn of events, the unthinkable what happened on September the 20th of 2016 Sabrina was found shot to death inside of her vehicle in Central City family members and friends at the scene had identified and confirmed that it was indeed Sabrina who had been shot and killed the NOPD cornered off the crime scene with yellow tape near Josephine and Willow Sabrina who had been shot more than once was found in the driver's seat of her white Hyundai Santa Fe. The NOPD received a call about a shooting in the Josephine neighborhood around 8.45 a.m. Upon arriving to the scene, they would find Sabrina. As people from the community would gather on the scene, two officers that were already on the scene could be seen helping a woman who was crying and had collapsed on the pavement screaming. One of Sabrina's sisters would run under the crime scene tape to console her. Buku people would gather at the crime scene near Claiborne Avenue while officers would investigate. Among those at the scene was Angela Starks, who knew Sabrina's entire family. Angela had just buried her 32-year-old son, Dwayne Starks, who was killed in a shooting over Labor Day weekend that year in the same area. The Orleans Parish Coroner's Office named Dwayne Starks as the victim in a September 5th fatal shooting which police said happened in the 2800 block of Josephine less than a block from the homicide scene. Freddie Ross aka Big Frida was also on the scene. Freddie a former classmate of Sabrina had honed her since childhood. When questioned Frida would say and I quote that was my home girl. The last time we saw each other was about two weeks ago when I came through the hood. We greeted each other with hugs and kisses. Violence was running rampant throughout the city. Five people had been murdered in Central City over the last month. Devon Jonathan 25 was shot to death on September the 3rd in the 1100 block 
of South Tonte Street. Two days later, Dwayne was killed on Josephine. Then, on September the 11th, a shooting near First and Derby Streets claimed the life of 63-year-old Ernest McKnight and wounded five others. Another 63-year-old man, Arnold Parker, was fatally stabbed in the 1300 block of Simon Boulevard, September the 14th. He would die two days later. Shalita Rising, who was friends with Sabrina for close to 30 years, would state that they came up together. She was a few years older, but had known Sabrina since they were kids. Going on to say Sabrina was a beautiful person. She ain't do nobody nothing wrong and didn't deserve to die. Not like that. I'm tired of it and everybody else should be tired of this senseless violence. Everyone is just killing, killing, and killing. They killing like we living on a battlefield. It's just, just don't make no sense right here. This is really dumb. Shalita Risen has called Sabrina Watson a friend for 30 years. We came up together. I mean, I'm a bit older than her, but I've been on Sabrina since young. She can't wrap her head around why anyone would kill a woman who brought a smile to so many. A very sweet person. She didn't bad in her body. She was looking at her children, you know. She raising a, a baby. You know, she probably just dropped off to school. Thank God she was in the car with her. Ryzen says Watson came to this Central City neighborhood almost daily. Then she sells stuff out of truck, chips and cookies and juice, cold drinks and stuff. That's the kind of hug she had, you know, for the children. She was catching an early morning, you know, children so they could get their love, you know, stuff to go to school. With. Around 8.45 Tuesday morning, Ryzen says Watson was likely finishing up for the morning. That's when police say she was shot in broad daylight. She was a beautiful person. And what were you she ain't do nobody in the wrong, and she ain't deserve to die. <laughs> Not like that. Police say the mother of three was found in the driver's seat of her SUV. The window shattered. She'd been shot several times. I'm tired of everybody should be tired of the senseless violence. That's you know every day is killing, killing, killing. You know, it's just killing is like we living on the battlefield. Crowds of family and friends flooded to the scene, including New Orleans bounce artist Big Frida, consoling one another and questioning how their dear friend became a victim of the city's violent culture. Police had not identified a suspect or determined a motive in a shooting, which was still being investigated at the time. Relatives and people out the hood would speculate that someone was trying to rob Sabrina.